I've always dreamed of being a mermaid, living in an underwater castle with my sea creature friends. And today, I get to be a part of that world. Minus the castle and the sea creatures. Okay, now I just gotta get down. And away, and we're good. Still gotta figure out how to get down. <laughs> it's just so extra. Extra in the sense that I don't even need this tail because these ladies are mermaids of a different kind. That's right. Meet the GC Mermaids Synchronised Swimming Team, based here at the Gold Coast Aquatic Centre, host to the 2018 Commonwealth Games. Rachel, Kira and Kirsten are national champions with big goals of qualifying for the next Olympics. OK, Rage, I'm loving being a mermaid so far, but I do have a few questions when it comes to synchro. How long do you have to hold your breath for when you're in the water? Well, it's a bit of a difficult question because in synchro, a lot of the time you're up out of the water breathing, but you're also under with your legs doing like funky things. Um, so when we're doing our figures, which is when our legs are out of the water, we're actually holding our breath in between like 10 and 20 seconds. And in a three minute routine, you actually might be holding your breath for two of those three minutes. Okay, that is a long time to hold your breath for. Now, don't go trying that at home. That's pretty impressive. Now, talk me through the makeup stitch. Like, how does it stay so perfect? Uh, we do use waterproof makeup, uh -huh. but there's always last minute touch ups, especially with the lipstick. Yes, we all love a last minute touch up. Now, what about the music? How do you hear it when you're under the water? Uh, we do use underwater speakers, um, but even still, we have to keep beat in, in sync with the music. And it's pretty important, I guess, to keep watching your team the whole time? Yeah, there's a lot of trust involved. Now, you are watching your team, you are in the pool a lot. How's the chlorine go on the old eyeballs? Um, we do build up a tolerance, but we're definitely not immune to it. Yeah, no, I'm ready for my eyes to be sore. Synchronised swimming combines acrobatics, swimming, dance, flexibility, and is all done with total grace. It's also one of only two Olympic sports that only women can compete in. Yeah, the girls! Looks easy. Yeah. Do you reckon you can do it? Nope. <laughs> well, I reckon we should give it a go anyway. Okay, so before I hit the water, I've got to learn it on the land? Yep, that's the way to do it. All right, wish me luck, guys. Okay, let's be real. You do not have all day to watch me learn this routine. So here's the um, highlights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. I gotta tell you, I'm not quite sure when I'm meant to be in and out of the water right now. I'm, and all while I'm doing this, I've got an egg beater. Yes. Yep. Okay, cool. Great. Yeah, so you... more? Yes. Oh, okay. Tiny little bit more. That's... Okay, okay. Yep. Even this dancer has got her work cut out for her. Almost time to hit the pool, but before you do, costume change. I'm rocking my super cool rashy. These guys have got their beautiful costumes on. But there's a few things I need to know. Make sure you always smile. Never touch the bottom of the pool. Always egg beater. And you're gonna need one of these. This is a nose peg. I actually don't even know what way it goes on. Is that right? <laughs> you put it on that way. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> yeah. okay, wish me luck. What way does it go? So this synchronised swimming business is very hard work. I'm gonna take the nose peg off, leave it to the pros, but I'm gonna keep living my best mermaid life. <laughs> <laughs>